Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and on today's video, we're going to be crushing up some granite countertop remnants through this jaw crusher and hopper behind me. Alright guys, so here's an example of some of the stuff we're going to be running today. This is a mix of uh, natural stone, quartz, uh, countertop remnants, broken pieces, and we'll run some of these bigger slabs um, over here as well so you can see uh, the jaw crusher work. We're gonna run two samples. We'll run some of the smaller stuff, and then I think our customer's gonna bring some bigger uh, sink cutouts and remnants. So we'll, we'll see the smaller stuff go through, crush down, and then we'll see the bigger stuff go through as well. Here's taking a quick look at the system. This is a vibrating hopper that we can dump the material in there. It'll take about a yard of slabs, remnants, and pieces. It'll vibrate its way down through this six inch by 30 inch jaw crusher here. Here's a quick shot looking down the jaws. These jaw plates are adjustable. Right now they're set pretty open for faster throughput, but coarser crushing. Once it gets crushed through the jaw crusher, it falls down onto this conveyor belt, stacking belt, and goes out here into a bin. So here's some of the stuff that was crushed. This is that uh, quartz countertop stuff, and it's pretty coarse grained, and it crushed pretty coarse. Like I mentioned earlier, the jaw crusher uh, is set with a pretty wide jaw gap, so we're getting a little bit coarser material, but you can increase your throughput that way. And this customer was interested in crushing a lot of tons really quickly, so they get rid of their rock. Um, they make a lot of waste every month, so they, wanted, they were interested in throughput through the machine. Here's a quick look at 
the jaw crusher itself. This unit is a diesel powered unit, so it's run with a Perkins uh, diesel motor. There's a little clutch here with the clutch arm to engage the belts to the jaw crusher flywheels. So that runs the jaw crusher part of it. The hopper and the motor here on the conveyor are both three phase, but we have a phase converter so that single phase power can be run into the phase converter and provide three phase power uh, to the electrical motor. So this whole unit can be run uh, in a remote area or it doesn't need electricity. About a 5,000 watt generator is all you need to run this thing. And uh, you can be crushing your granite out in the back 40. All right guys, well thanks for watching our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, you can find our contact information in the description below. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.